Back in December, 195 governments entered into the historic Paris Agreement, aiming to limit climate change to well below 2 degrees C. That's going to have profound implications for economies across the world, particularly sectors such as energy, transport, heavy industry and real estate. So what's that got to do with financial services and with risk, you might ask? Well, it's very simple. Mark Carney at the Bank of England sees climate change as a, a large systemic financial risk and has formed the FSB task force to look at this issue. And the reason that the Bank of England and the FSB are worried about climate change is it will change asset values as investment moves away from high carbon assets towards a lower carbon economy. Think of moving away from coal towards renewables as part of an energy transition. There are no methodologies today to agree what that risk looks like within a financial institution. The levels of disclosure are very low from uh, companies, particularly outside of Europe and North America. And for financial institutions, whether they be lenders or investors, to assess those risks, to manage those risks, and to try and mitigate them requires better disclosure and better methodologies. So as part of our Future of Risk campaign, we've been looking at emerging risks like climate change and saying, what is it that a financial institution needs to do? How does it identify the risks? How does it integrate them into their wider risk management systems? How does the risk department become a partner of the front office in helping their clients go through this transition and as well as manage the risk, capture the opportunities that all this new investment will involve? So we're looking very much at that integrated partnerial approach to managing this transition. A big risk for banks, yes, trillions potentially of assets at risk, but as much, if not more, as an opportunity uh, as we look at new investment. I've written a blog on this to try and explain what I've just said. Um, I'm really interested to hear what you think about it. Um, so follow me and follow hashtag Future of Risk and let me know what you think.